My name is Evan Eshelman. I'm a research scientist at Impossible Sensing, and I'll be talking a little bit about how the Invader instrument operates on a day-to-day -day basis and uh, the operations that it'll go through to acquire uh, the science data. In some of the previous talks, we've discussed how uh, the science data will be collected and the value in examining these geo uh, geothermal vent systems and the types of information they can provide uh, about origins of life, geobiology, and uh, microbiology. Some of the videos have also talked a little bit about the instrument itself that we'll be deploying to the vent and the laser that we'll use to fire at the vent to acquire science data. So what I'll talk a little bit about today is the sequence of events that occur that allow you to collect this data. The instrument has a visible light on it, and what that means is that the light can be turned on to take a picture of the vent. The instrument also has a red uh, targeting laser, which is similar to a laser pointer. What this allows you to do is fire at the vent, and you'll see a red dot on the surface, and this allows you to know with a high degree of precision exactly where you're pointing. The instrument also uh, is on a pan and tilt motor, and what that means is that it can rotate up and down and left and right. What these three capabilities allow you to do is illuminate the vent and move the instrument up and down with the targeting laser to focus on different points along the vent in two dimensions. This allows you to target the system fire the laser and acquire the science data that allows you to understand the geobiology uh, and the microbiology and the geochemistry of the system. So these series of events can occur on a daily basis. So every day, an invader can target multiple tens of points along the vent, collect science data, which is fed back in real time to the scientists uh, and to the team.